Well, in a year when Minnesota's Democratic leadership has pledged to spend cautiously, some of its members are now proposing a sizable, guaranteed basic income program. And Fox 9's Corin Hoggard is live at the Capitol. So, Corin, this would be a pretty expensive idea to implement, right? Yeah, that's right, Kelsey and Amy. A lot of the spending bills up for consideration this year are just asking for a little bit of money, or the authors are kind of teeing it up for maybe more spending in 2026 or later. This one, though, asks for $100 million for 2025. Guaranteeing people have cash is something 80 cities and counties across the country have tried, including St. Paul, Minneapolis, and Ottertail County. Most of the data shows positive outcomes. That data shows that participants increase employment, improve mental health, improve child development, and improve the overall health of all the participants. Some DFL legislators are hoping to expand guaranteed basic income to any Minnesotans earning three times the poverty level or less. The state would pool money with private donors and give out grants to local municipalities, tribal governments, and nonprofits to create localized projects. Monthly payments of at least $500 a month would go out for 18 months or longer, and an independent researcher would evaluate the results. But among the concerns expressed by Republicans in a House committee Tuesday was that there aren't guardrails to prevent kickbacks or to curb administrative costs. Representative Walter Hudson also questioned the standards for who's eligible. This program very explicitly pr would provide support to illegal immigrants or persons claiming to be um, someone other than they actually are. We're not even going to question that. There's not going to be any documentation whatsoever. And Representative Athena Hollins pledged to work on curbing administrative costs, but said anybody in a community who isn't wealthy should be eligible. And beneficiaries from the Fergus Falls and St. Paul programs praise the results. It gives us individuals hope. It brings joy and security. And most of all, it has allowed us to believe that our dreams will become reality. So who exactly would benefit from this? Well, the poverty line changes every year, but 300% of the poverty line is usually right around the median income, so half of Minnesotans could theoretically benefit from this. However, $100 million is really only enough over two years for about 8,000 people to get these benefits. Live at the Capitol, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9.